What's up everybody, welcome into the video, welcome into another Pokemon Go adventure video. And first off, before I get too far into this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who is subscribed to the channel, and anyone that has recently subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I put out a short the other day, and I gained nearly 100 subscribers from that YouTube short, and I just want to say, I'm blown away by that. That short, even though I know it was kind of like a personal short and stuff like that, I was expecting maybe only 20 subscribers from that short. Not nearly 100. You guys literally blew my mind with that so thank you if you are watching this video and you did sub from that video thank you so much even if you aren't subbed from that video i still appreciate you just as much but we are actually going to be starting off this video with a shiny nidoran check because we just took down arlo right now get a thousand stardust we get a 12k egg very nice hyper potions how many balls nine balls and a shiny nidoran dang 162, I have no idea if that's gonna be a good. We'll catch it real quick and we'll check. So we caught the Nidoran, let's see if it's any good. It's gonna be, not good, kinda decent PvP IVs, but I don't think Shadow. Oh wait, this is, evolves into Nido King, not Nido Queen, so yeah. Not good in PvP, so. Uh, garbage is getting transferred right now. And y'all already know we gotta start off the video, we gotta be using our daily incense per the usual. And as of right now, there's no event going on in Pokemon Go, like, at all. We're kind of in event purgatory at this point, if you want to call that event limbo. I don't know what the term you guys want to use, but that's just what I'm going to use. Ooh, first spawn. Jigglypuff, not going to be a shiny. But yeah, we got no events right now because this weekend, the Hoenn Fest starts in Las Vegas, so they're not going to start an event while that's about to happen this weekend. And I highly doubt we get an event next week unless it's something to do with Hoenn Fest because next week is actually the global global Hoenn Fest, which I'm super excited for, because next week, they should be announcing, like, all the bonuses and stuff like that, and, like, all the habitats and whatnot. They should be announcing everything. Super excited about that. Keep an eye out on the channel for updates on that, because I will be updating as things go on. And we got the Lord and Savior Badoof. Not shiny. Ooh, 10 CP, level 1 Badoof. Hoenn Fest is starting very soon. Super excited about that. Really wish I would have went to Las Vegas for the actual in-person event, but as of right now, money is kind of in a sticky situation for me right now so it wouldn't have been good financially for me to be able to go oh we got a zero on the incense so yeah would not have been a good financial decision for me to go but i am hoping to go to one of the in-person go fest during the summer it's obviously going to be the one in the u.s if they have one so if you do plan on going to the in-person go fest in during this summer in america i most likely will be there and hopefully we gain pretty good following by then because i would love to meet some of you guys oh so yeah, like I said, nothing really happening right now in Pokemon Go Why It's gonna be a pretty slow week in my opinion, probably leading up to the global Hoenn event. And I'm starting to think, I, I don't exactly know, this is just my hunch, my suspicion, that we're not gonna have very good shiny odds during the global Hoenn Fest like we did last year and the year before with Kanto. Because they haven't come out and said that we are getting boosted odds. I believe at some point in the actual like in-person Vegas announcement they said something about increased chance for shinies. I have a feeling just because of that, they probably aren't having insanely good odds like they had the last few years, sadly. But I could be wrong. Me out? But I could be wrong and I hope I'm wrong, personally, because what is a global event without boosted shiny odds? Like it's just a normal eight hour day of Pokemon Go. Another reason why I think it's possibly not gonna have boosted shiny odds is the fact that it is a free event. There's no paid ticketed experience. I believe there might be a ticket you can buy, but it doesn't really, uh, it just gives you an additional story storyline at some point. Yes, it is. You actually get shiny Jirachi with that storyline, but it doesn't really give you any real bonuses. Oh my god, we got God again. Badoof. Also, I just want to apologize to you guys if it feels like I'm rambling and talking really fast at the moment. I have a little bit less time than usual to try and get this video out to you guys because normally I go into work at 7 o'clock in the morning, but tomorrow I have to go into work at 4.30 in the morning, so I have quite a bit less time to try and get this out to you guys, but I should still have enough time to get it out if you're especially if you guys are watching it. I obviously did, but I just have so much on my mind that I want to talk to you guys about and get some points across. Because the next topic of discussion is these boxes we have going on because I'm going to try and let you guys know what I think is worth buying and what I don't think is worth buying because there's quite a few that aren't worth buying. So don't waste your coins on them. Oh my god, it's meant to be. We got the triple badoof on the daily incense. All right, so as you guys can see here, we got 21 Pokemon on our daily incense, which honestly ain't too half bad, but there was nothing really crazy that spawned. Fletchling, terrible, Padoof, terrible, Pidgey, terrible, Padoof, terrible, Padoof, terrible, Pidgey, terrible, ah, water, Padoof, terrible, Mankey, terrible, Spearow, terrible, Pidgeot, 
kind of good. Also, I apologize for the wind. Mareep, terrible. Grimer, terrible. Piggyback, terrible. Badoof, terrible. Scarskin, terrible. Meows, terrible. Padov, half decent. Spinner, terrible. Firo, terrible. Badoof, terrible. Trigle, terrible. Jigglypuff. Wigglypuff might be good for PvP. I'm gonna check that real quick, because that might be PvP IVs right there. On to our next topic at hand, all these boxes, because I'm sure some of you guys, if you are new to the game, are wondering if these boxes are worth it. So I'm going to go through them and tell you guys what I think is worth it. Starting off with the trainee box right here, not worth it whatsoever. You're paying 400 coins for something that is total of 450 coins. You're barely getting a discount. Do not buy the trainee box. It's not worth it. It's a waste of your coins. Now, expert box, doubly not worth it because you might think that's worth it because for 900 coins, you're getting 10 premium battle passes, which those cost a thousand coins alone. You might think it's worth it, but if you go over here to the great raid box, I have a feeling they forgot to take out the expert box. I don't know, but only three of these are available and you get 10 premium raid passes, three star pieces, and three lucky eggs for 750 coins. Extremely worth it. Maybe buy one or two of these, especially for Hoenn Fest, which is coming up next weekend. Get your raids in. This box, very worth it in my opinion. Now the Explorer box, it really depends if you're into hatching eggs or not, if it is worth it or not, because you are paying half the price for what you are getting. All that stuff totals out to be around 3,600 coins and you're paying 1,850. So if you are into hatching eggs and doing all that, it's pretty worth it. Training box, absolutely garbage. Do not buy it because Pokemon storage and item storage both cost 200 coins a piece. So that's 400 coins right there. And two incense cost 80 coins. So that is 480 coins and you are paying 550. So you're paying 70 coins for 50 Ultra Balls. Not worth it, don't do it. Trash box, don't buy it. Don't support Niantic making these trash boxes. Now, Voyager box, eh, kinda, not really. It goes back to the whole egg hatching thing, but you're paying 990 coins for 1,700 coins worth of items. If you are gonna buy one for incubators, I would recommend the Explorer box. Do not buy the Legend box. Legend box, super not worth it. So for 3,775 coins, you're getting 3,500 coins worth of items and two elite fast TMs and two charged TMs. So in my opinion, unless you're big into PvP, do not buy the Legend box. It's just really not worth it at all. It costs way too much. Maybe if it was like 3,000 coins, then yes, it would be worth it. But right now, it's just not worth it at all. So yeah, quick recap. Trainee box, not worth. Expert box, not worth. Great raid box, worth. Explorer box, depends if you like hatching eggs. Training box, absolutely not. Voyager box, go for the Explorer box. Legend box, don't buy it whatsoever, just please. So hopefully that did help you guys on figuring out what box might be worth it and what might not be. But ultimately, I'm just some guy on the internet. If you wanna buy one of those boxes, go right ahead. I can't really tell you what to do. I'm just telling you guys what I think is worth it and what I think is not worth it based on coins and what things are valued at. That's just my personal opinion. So if you wanna buy them, Go right ahead. I ain't gonna stop you whatsoever. It's how you wanna play the game, it's how you wanna spend your money. By all means, if you wanna buy the legend box, buy the legend box. I ain't gonna stop you. Just leave a like on this video if you did buy the legend box. And to finish off this video, we are actually gonna be doing a Regirog raid here. Now, I know I said in the last video that I don't plan on doing a Regirog like raiding until a shiny challenge, which I still don't plan on doing that, but I feel like I gotta do at least one of these raids, you know? Hopefully, maybe we can break the streak right here live on camera. Who knows? I'm just hoping so. It'd be super nice if I could actually get the shiny because it's been forever since I've gotten a legend shiny. And like I said earlier, I apologize if it feels like I've been rambling or talking really fast. It's just, I am just, I am cracked out on caffeine at the moment because I've been up since 3 in the morning and had like 4 or 5 hours of sleep, so I'm just cracked out on caffeine at the moment, but I felt like it was necessary that I needed to get a video out for you guys, so here we are. And like I said, I have limited time as well at the moment, so that should be fixed next week. Like, I don't have work this week. This job that I'm working on right now is only a few days, so it's probably only going to last tomorrow and maybe even Monday, so we should be back normal schedule as of Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully I wasn't rambling on too much for you guys, and hopefully you guys were able to understand what I was talking about. Trying to get as much information as I can packed in as much as possible in like a 10 minute time span, because I know a lot of y'all don't want to sit here and watch a 15, 20 minute video just about someone talking. I save those for events. But Reggie Rock goes down, no idea what the Hundo CP is. 10,000 XP, go to the summary. We get 13 balls, shiny. 
and the streak continues 22 27 weather boosted no idea what the hundo is like i said but we're gonna catch it and we're gonna check all right so we caught the reggie rock 22 27 is okay accidentally swiped off 22 27 is gonna be the cp is it any good it's a 98 Woo! that was actually only the second reggie rock i've ever caught that i have six candy you know what i'm okay with that I've seen three, one has run away. What a way to end off the video if so close to the hundo too. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate you guys so very much. Like I said, if any of you guys are new subscribers, thank you guys so much for subbing. I appreciate y'all. If you're an old subscriber, I still appreciate y'all just as much. If you got this far in the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Peace.